Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I had the day off of work today, and I made a trip to the local bookstore, and I got a few things that I thought I would show you. And I had a few things in mind. I had two books in mind that I uh, wanted. One I, I really wanted, and the other one was a bit of a splurge, uh, but again... So the, the first thing that I was looking for was a copy of Dune. So Steve Donahue and I will be reading uh, Dune by Frank Herbert in the month of October, um, leading up to the big blockbuster Hollywood movie coming out with um, Tim Timothy Chalamet as the starring role. And I thought it would be fun to... Uh, get a copy of the motion picture uh, cover where the stars would be on the cover. And I read this last year and I downloaded it as an e-copy, so I still have it in my e-reader. Um, Steve and I are breaking the book up into four parts, even though the book is three parts. So it's one to three. Uh, but then there are these appendice appendices which we're going to be reading for the, the fourth week, uh, which I did not read last year. And I just wanted a copy, and while I was at the bookstore, uh, they had this, which is the uh, iconic cover. This is what I think of when I think of a copy of Dune. And they had, uh, they had exactly what I was looking for. They had the motion picture cover, and they were side by side, and I didn't have this, and I thought, I want the cover that I'm familiar with. And they also had uh, a trade paperback version, so uh, a larger format, which was thinner. But I like these mass market uh, copies of, of longer works. I used to have one of these for Les Miserables, Hugo. Um, and it's just this hefty little uh, brick of a book. feels really good in the hand. And I'm really looking forward to reading this again. Uh, I read it just last year, and I remember being so um, confused, puzzled by how um, lost you feel when you're just kind of dropped into this um, huge sci-fi world um, without much uh, introduction or preparation. The, the, the author just... Um, has, has the story going um, full tilt, and you just have to catch up. And it kind of reminds me of reading those old Russian novels that can feel so bewildering at the beginning. Um, and you can acclimate, you start figuring out who the characters are and what the story is, and follow along and all that. But upon rereading, it's so... I'm thinking of those old Russian novels. It's so rewarding going back to them. And I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun um, reading this and also reading it with uh, Steve and um, watching the movie. I, I think it's going to be great. So I just picked up a really um, handy uh, Dune copy. And the other thing, it was nearly bugging me. I've been watching uh, some of the um, Shakespeare videos that have... Uh, been coming out in September. There's a, a, a booktube event. Um, it's uh, Shake Timber or Shake Tube. Um, I've been watching them, and I have a handful of uh, plays by Shakespeare. And I, 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 I just I couldn't believe that I didn't just have a copy of the complete works. Um, for 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 all the kinds of different books that I have, and I, I have more than I need, and all, all that, but I just thought I, I I need a copy of the complete works of Shakespeare, and I, I was at the Barnes and Noble, and I go to uh, the poetry section, which I, I really think is pitiful. That um, they have uh, a good selection of ancient works. You can you can find Homer, uh, Odyssey, and the Iliad, and um, the Aeneid by Virgil and Dante, and um, they, they, they do have a pretty representative selection, but they, they, they don't have anything.
by Wordsworth or Byron or Coleridge or Shelley or Keats. And I'm, I'm only mentioning the, the Romantics, but um, so, so many of the just major poets um, are totally absent on the shelves. It goes from uh, ancient works to, uh, I guess, mo modern, um, modern day uh, volumes of uh, poetry. People that I'm, I'm not familiar with, and I, I don't really judge what's there, but I do judge what's not there. Um, and then the the Shakespeare selection. Th th there's a uh, an entire section, of course, just for Shakespeare, and. I couldn't believe it, but they have they have all the plays uh, as single volumes, but no uh, no complete works. And I went to the information desk, and they directed me over to um, where they keep um, the really nice, big, oversized kind of display uh, books that Barnes and Noble makes. And I got this: uh, the complete works of William Shakespeare, and it's a big, beautiful, leather-bound, gilded-edged, um, complete with a ribbon, uh, complete works of Shakespeare. And it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm very happy that I have it. And I also thought it was a really good deal for, um, for as handsomely put together this is, um, all of the, um, additional ornamentation, all, all the work that they put in to make it a lovely, beautiful object that feels uh, extremely well made, uh, it was $25. And if you go back to the Shakespeare section, you can pick up three plays uh, that would cost you $25. And this has, this has everything. I'm not sure that I'll, I'll be sitting down uh, um, reading this at my leisure time, but I'm just happy to have it. Um, Shakespeare is one, one of those um, authors for me that I'm still very much um, not familiar with. Um, there's a handful of plays that I like, there's a handful of plays that I don't really understand, and a good, a, a good handful or majority that I haven't read at all. And I could dip into this, and if there's something that I'm really enjoying, I could just uh, download a free e-copy, but it's nice to have. And then the other two books I got, uh, I'll show you. I got To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. Um, kind of a terrible cover, but um, I, I had this. I, I gave it away, um, I think, earlier this year. And it's one of the few books that was on the back of my mind. I, I, I love uh, Virginia Woolf, uh, The Waves, and uh, Mrs. Dalloway, and To the Lighthouse, uh, Room of One's Own. Um, and it, it just bothered me that I didn't have it. I'm not really uh, anticipating jumping into this uh, straight away, but it's been a while since I've read it, and I, I just wanted a copy of it. And this is a foreword by Eudora Welty, who I just uh, recently, just a week ago, two weeks ago, downloaded um, a short story collection. I've read a handful of uh, short stories. It's a name that um, I've been hearing quite a lot of uh, recently, within the past year or two, something like that, um, who I've never read. I, and I only have heard good things. And... And I've really enjoyed the short, the stories that I've read, so um, I'll, I probably will read the foreword uh, maybe tonight or uh, tomorrow. I have off tomorrow. Um, and then the last book that I got is, um, I was back in the uh, poetry section where they have um, a good selection of the ancient works, and they had the, the Oedipus Cycle by Sophocles. It's the three plays, Oedipus Rex, Oedipus at Colonus and Antigone, and I've been reading um, uh, plays by Euripides recently. I just read the other day uh, Hippolytus because I was thinking about uh, Phaedra by 
Racine because I was uh, uh, reading uh, within a budding grove and Proust and all that. But uh, this is translated by Dudley Fitz, who I've never heard of, uh, in collaboration with Robert Fitzgerald. And I just read, uh, with, with Steve, I read uh, uh, The Odyssey, translated by Robert Fitzgerald. And uh, I, I haven't read his uh, translation of this. It's been a very long time since I've read Sophocles, and I can't wait. Um, this is something that I probably will get to um, because they're fairly, fairly quick to read, and they're so memorable. I, I, they have a timelessness to them that uh, the, the ancient Greek plays um, that really draws me to back um, to reading them, and it's been a while, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, tonight, my reading, I imagine, is going to be uh, Dune, because um, October is um, quickly upon us, and um, I have my reading to do. So, uh, those are some of the books that I uh, got at the bookstore today, and I thought I would share them with you. Um, let me know what you think. So leave a comment if you would like. And uh, thank you for watching and take care.